real common question asked us is how do we determine the weight, the live weight of the pig without having any livestock scales? One thing you can do is you can measure, measure a pig and uh, use a certain equation that will help calculate the, uh, the standing weight. So the, the ideal thing to start off with is just like a fabric uh, tape measure, something that's flexible obviously. That's the key here. And you obviously need a distracted pig. Uh, your typical pig's not going to stand still and let you put anything around it. So uh, take advantage of this while we're feeding. Now, instead of trying to measure every single one of the pigs and determine a weight, I kind of pick a mid-sized one and say, OK, I think uh, we'll, we'll try to start there. Um, you try to uh, pick a mid-sized pig and then try to start there and get an idea. So the first thing you want to do is you want to measure the, the girth, which is uh, kind of the, the, the barrel chest, which would be right behind the, the honkers here. So we're going to try to do one. We're going to pick the right end of the tape. Okay. We'll try to pick this one here and we'll slide our hand underneath. <laughs> See, sometimes they don't like being touched. So let's try this one. Okay. So this one is height at 45 and a half. So 45 and a half barrel chest weight. And then we're going to measure from the ears back to the base of the tail. We'll measure here, face of the tail, trying to stay on it. Yeah, 45 and a half and 44. So this pig right here is 45 and a half inches around and 44 inches long. Now the question becomes, you know, when you determine where their head height position is, obviously if I measure this pig, he'd be shorter because his head's up. So you want to kind of a standard, this one's got his head down in the trough, kind of between all the way down and between all the way up is the best way to determine that. Okay, well, as mentioned, you, you measure the pig, you measure its heart girth, or barrel girth, so you measure right around behind the front legs. We measured this one, and it was 45 and a half around. And then from the base of the ears to the base of the tail was 44. So we take 45 and a half, and we multiply that. So we're squaring it, we're multiplying it by 45 and a half, and that gives us 2,070. And then we multiply that by the length, which the length was 44. And that gives us 91,000 roughly. And then we divide that by 400. That gives us 227. So this pig estimated is right around 227 pounds. So I look at that when compared to the other ones. That's a, that's a decent assessment. So that gives me an idea of kind of where I'm hanging out here. Now if I can measure another one like this the big boy right here. So that's 48 by 46. So we'll do that math again. So if we do 48 times 48, and we multiply that by 46, and divide that by 400, that gives us 264. So that pig's roughly 264 pounds. And what I found that to be, it's, well, it's, obviously there's a lot of variables there that can affect that. How the pig's twisted and all that, and you could lay the pig out or put it in a, uh, a head gate and you could get a much better, accurate measurement. But it seems to be pretty close. I mean, plus or minus 10, 20 pounds type of thing. So it gives you just an idea of an estimate. It gives you an estimate as to where your pigs are weight-wise. Um, so we know we're still, these pigs, we're still about a month out from processing, so I feel comfortable that everybody's going to be around our target 250 pound weight. This one's obviously well over, but some of the smaller ones will catch up and, uh, and, and hopefully be at that target weight, so that maximizes our uh, output. So again, for uh, my port customers that, that want to know how we do that, that's how we estimate. Now when we actually calculate the price of what we charge our port customers, it's based it's based on the dressed weight, which means this pig will be butchered, so it'll be gutted, the skin will be taken off, and it'll be what's called the dressed weight, so it's a hanging weight. Now they hang the pig up on the hook, and that's usually 28% less of the, of the live weight. 
And that's where we calculate our price. Our price of $3.50 a pound or $4.50 a pound on a half is calculated by that dress weight. So the pig would be dispatched, gutted, and skinned and hanging, and that's how they determine the price of, uh, of the meat. So it's not the standing weight it's based on, but we know roughly 28% of the live weight is what we're going to get in hanging weight. So it at least gives us an estimate.